Hey guys, I think we're all asking a bit much of tiny little media like these little SD cards to always work perfectly and flawlessly and never lose any of our precious photographs. I've had a few SD cards fail on me in the past and it's not a pleasant experience when you lose a whole shoot of photographs. I've also had hard drives fail on me as well. Uh, and in fact, at one point, I lost several years worth of photographs to a dodgy hard drive before I got a decent backup procedure in place. And if you have some sort of catastrophe with your media that you're storing your photographs on, then it's good to have a utility of some kind on hand that can search those drives, the SD cards, and hopefully pull back some of the data and help you recover your photographs. And today I'm going to be looking at just such an app. It's called Stellar Photo Recovery. I've been putting it through its paces. I'm going to walk you through it on the Mac. So here's how the app looks. And as you can see, they've kind of dispensed with any geeky affectations. This is a simple tool that's not going to fill the screen full of stupid looking graphs, uh, in-depth technical knowledge that people may or may not possess. It keeps it simple. So it's asking us initially what we want to recover. And if you just want everything back, you can just tick that first box, recover everything. However, if all you want is something like your photos, then just select that. And all it will look for is uh, photo files. Once you've decided what you're recovering, click on next. It'll take you to this recover from section where you can choose whichever knackered drive or SD card you want to pull the data back from. Now, I ran a couple of tests on this. Firstly, I stuck one of my SD cards in it, which had a load of deleted files on it. And the second test was proper full-scale test because I have actually got a knackered drive. It was all my old main photos drive, which died on me quite some time ago. So the SD card recovery was super speedy. It didn't take long at all. I think it was like 15 minutes or something at the most to scan the drive, find all the files, and it did indeed find a heap of deleted files on it. Uh, but let's go to the Meteor recovery option, which is this drive here. I'm going to click on the resume button. So it's going to connect to the drive, which is sat on my desk here, and it's going to pull up all the information. So here we can see the recovery information. As you can see, it's found 71 folders with 2.8 terabytes of data recoverable from 129,671 files. That's pretty impressive. It did take a while, a bit over 24 hours in fact, but let's face it, if you've got a knackered hard drive with all your precious photos on it, I think you wouldn't care if it took a bloody month as long as you got your photos back. So I'm not going to worry too much about that. But let's have a look at it. So this is what the recovery information looks like. And this is kind of an extreme example because there's a lot of knackered files on there. One of the issues that I have with this is that it doesn't keep the original file names. You've got these supplemental file names generated perhaps from the sector data on the drives. I don't know where it creates them but these certainly aren't the original file name. If you're hoping to recover information in this scenario by searching for a particular file name, then you're going to be out of luck. One of the other problems I found with this particular recovery tool is that it doesn't get the original folder or directory back. Basically, it just looks for the files and it lumps them in bundles of up to 2,500 files a go. So they've got a load of Canon RAW files on here, the .cr2, and you can see it says 2,500. And then if we go down the page a bit, we can see we've got 2.1, which is still .cr2 files. It's just another bundle of 2,500 files and so on down the page. So these are all fully recoverable Canon RAW files. 
And as you can see, there's quite a few to get back from there. We've also got some TIFFs, quite a few of those with panoramas, I'm suspecting. And we've got some DNG files and quite a few JPEGs, which will be probably the thumbnails from the original catalog. Now, at the moment, absolutely everything is selected on here. And if I click recover, it will try and restore that 2.8 terabytes of data. So what you have to do is untick everything and then go to the folder or folders that you want to get. Now, one of the other problems I've discovered with this, it's quite annoying. You can't hold down shift and select a group of files. Can't control click or option kick. Basically, you get the whole folder or you have to manually go through and pick which particular images you want to recover from the drive, which is quite annoying. But as I said before, in all honesty, you're probably just going to recover everything to a, a nice big hard drive. You've got spare or onto your computer's hard drive, you've got space on it. So once you've selected the folders or the, or the files that you wish to recover, just select them, click the recover button. It's asking you for a destination to restore those files to. Let's just stick them on the desktop here and then click save. And as you can see, nice and quick, pulls them off. And if I go to that folder, let's just grab this folder here. And we can see here are the original raw files. Nice beach sunrise down at the local beach. Uh, as you can see, the files are totally intact. No problems at all. We've lost the original file name, but the metadata is still within these particular files. If I right click and get info, I'll just pull that window in there. You can see in more info, we've got the uh, GPS information there, aperture priority mode, the exposure time, Canon. Uh, and uh, I do actually open a couple of these up in Adobe Lightroom to check the further metadata and everything you would expect to find is in there. There are a couple of different view modes within this particular file list here. I've got it in list mode at the moment. Of course, it's got icons, columns, and cover flow. If I select icons, it'll start rendering in all the thumbnails from the images. So you could probably identify your photos that way. But as you can see, it's not the speediest process. I mean, it's done about, what's it doing, about one a second or something like that. So with 2,500 files in this folder, it's going to take some time to get all the way to the bottom of that if you're going to try and identify them. So that's Stellar Photo Recovery, a capable little file recovery app, which worked perfectly well on the two test case scenarios I put it through. Uh, it comes in three versions. What we got the standard, professional, and a premium version. You can buy it on a subscription basis or lifetime. Here in Australia, the standard version, which is what I used here, is a hundred and thirty-five bucks for the lifetime license, or you can buy it on a subscription for seventy-five bucks. In the professional one, it's got a feature which apparently repairs. Corrupt or badly damaged photos, repairs corrupt JPEG, TIFF, HEIC, camera raw files back to their original form. Would have liked to have tested that particular feature, but uh, unfortunately they only sent me the standard version, so I couldn't. I think most of us photographers would do perfectly fine with just the standard version. We'll do everything that uh, you need for it. Available for Mac and Windows. So there you go. I really hope that uh, you live a full and complete life and never have a dry failure, but it does happen. It doesn't hurt to have some utilities like Stellar Photo Recovery on hand to pull your ass out of the fire should the worst happen. Anyway, I'll put a link to this app in the description below. As always, There'll be no affiliate link attached to that. I never join any affiliate schemes because I think it taints the veracitude of any reviews that I stick up on this channel. Hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, please give it a like. And if you got value from it, then do please consider subscribing to my channel for more photo, video, and drone-related content from me. Till the next time, guys. 
safe photographing, get a backup in place, and I'll see you next time.